Hello everyone, we have studied some basic theories of TCM, such as ion theory, five element theory, and visceral manifestation theory. Today we will study four basic substances of TCM. This is chapter four, essence, qi, blood, and body fluid. Let's try to answer the following question. How can a person keep alive from the Western medicine view, it should be protein, vitamin, glucose, lipid, etc. TCM has totally different answer for this question. It should be qi, essence, blood, body fluid, etc. Qi, essence, blood, and body fluid are the basic material to form and sustain the life activities of human body. They are the basic substances for conducting the physiological activities of zhangfu organs, meridians, tissues, and orifices. Generally speaking, qi has the functions of promoting and warming, while essence, blood, and body fluid have the functions of nourishing and moistening. According to the yin yang theory, qi belongs to yang, since qi is invisible and active while essence, blood, and body fluid belongs to yin because they are visible and inactive. Essence refers to the mineral substance of living beings derived from parents and acquired from food essence, which is the origin of life and the basic material to form and sustain life activities of the human body. In terms of the source of generation, essence is divided into the innate essence, which comes from parents, and acquired essence, which comes from food and water, with function of spleen. Innate essence refers to the refined material before birth, mainly the reproductive essence from parents, and is the formation of the raw material of the embryo. The innate essence is the origin of life and the basis for growth, development, and reproduction of the human body. Acquired essence refers to the refined material after birth, mainly the essence from food generated by the spleen and the stomach, also is known as food essence. The innate essence and acquired essence can combine to form the essence of the whole body to be stored in the visceral. Innate essence and acquired essence have different sources, but they are interdependent. The innate essence is the premise for generation of acquired essence, while acquired essence can supply and enrich the innate essence. The physiological functions of essence are mainly reflected in the following four aspects. First, the reproduction. The innate essence from parents is the material basis for pregnancy and the origin of life. After birth, innate essence stored in kidney is supplied and nourished of acquired essence. In the process of reproduction, the living matter of parents through reproductive essence is passed to their children. Therefore, kidney essence is a material basis for reproduction. Second, kidney essence can promote and sustain the growth and development of the human body. The state of kidney essence affects the whole life process. Third, essence stored in kidney can generate mineral, including bone mineral and brain. Essence can also generate blood and qi. The abundance of essence in visceral can generate sufficient healthy qi to maintain vigorous activities of life. Fourth, food can be transformed into food essence, distributed to the whole body to nourish the visceral and constituents so as to maintain the life activities. Qi is the energy kind of primary promoting force for life activities to promote and stimulate the function of visceral and meridians. Let's think about how qi works. Vital energy called qi is the life force that drives all living things. Qi flows through meridians in the body, similar to water flowing in a river. We have 12 primary meridians, each associated with an organ system. 
Therefore, qi works as providing energy for all the visceral and meridians, as well as all the tissues involved in the whole system. When we apply acupuncture on an acupoint located in the end of limb, the patient often has a feeling of qi flowing, which is a qi movement along the meridian. This is a miraculous phenomenon, but actually feeling of invisible qi. Disease may occur when imbalance resulting in excessive or deficient amounts of qi in the organs or meridians. TCM works to elevate this imbalance and restore harmony. Does qi always keep static? The answer absolutely is not. Qi flows inside the body without any break. Qi has different forms of movement because of different functions. In general, Qi keeps moving in four forms, ascending, descending, exiting, and entering. The physiological functions of Qi are as follows. First, Qi has a promoting function to stimulate the activities of visceral and tissues. For example, half Qi promotes the blood circulation, spleen Qi promotes digestion, and so on. Second, qi has warming function to maintain constant body temperature, as well as sustain circulation of blood and body fluid. Third, qi has a defending function to defend invasion of external pathogens by consolidating body surface. Fourth, qi has a consolidating function to consolidate body fluid to avoid loss and consolidate visceral to maintain a fixed location. Fifth qi has transforming function to promote metabolism and the inter transformation among essence, qi, blood, and body fluid. For instance, food is transformed into qi, blood, and body fluid. Body fluid is converted into sweat and urine by metabolizing, and the residues of food are turned into feces to be discharged from the body. Blood is the fluid circulating inside blood vessels with the function of nourishing and also one of the basic materials to form and sustain life activities. Blood mainly consists of nutrient qi and body fluid. Nutrient qi and body fluid are all transformed from food essence. Nutrient qi is transported with body fluid to heart and lung by spleen. In lung, nutrient qi combines with clear qi inhaled by lung, perfusing vessels and transforming into red blood through the warming function of heart yang. The main functions of blood include, first, blood nourish and moisten the whole body, signified by ruddy complexion, strong muscles, lustrous skin and hair, as well as limp and flexible sensation. Second, blood is basic material of mental activities, signified by vigorous mental activities, clear consciousness, agile thinking, and sensitive feeling. Body fluid is a general term for all normal liquids in the body including the secretion from organs and tissues such as gastric fluid, intestine fluid, tears, etc. Body fluid is generated from food through physiological functions of spleen, stomach, small intestine, and large intestine. The generating process is similar to blood. According to TCM, body fluid and blood share the same source, which is food essence. The main functions of body fluid are as follows. First, body fluid is distributed to visceral, orifices, and joints to nourish and moisten the whole body. Second, body fluid can enter vessels to transform into blood combined with nutrient qi, nourishing and smoothing vessels. Third, body fluid belongs to yin, and plays an important role in regulating yin-yang balance of the human body. Fourth, during 
the metabolism of body fluid. It can discharge the body's metabolic waste constantly through sweat and urine to ensure normal physiological function. So far, we have talked a lot about the four basic substances which are quite important to maintain our physiological activities. Among them, qi belongs to yang, while the other three substances belong to yin. It is important to keep the balance between yin and yang for the health sake. Therefore, in our clinic practice, the four substances as well as the relations among them are all needed to be considered. Okay, that's all for today. See you in next class.